Livy, why did you say it wasn't the Avatar's child? What? I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. When we came running in, that's what you were saying. Yeah, he's right, because that's what I heard, too. So why would you feel the need to tell him it wasn't his child? Um, why would you say something like that? Huh? Because that monster was after my baby, what? Rave. He was what, after what, what, our what did he do? baby. What did that, he do? That, that creature, he just okay. reached so, out for my I, stomach. I he so, thought he could have I'm it. So sorry. Oh, come on. That's okay. not what I saw when we... It doesn't matter what you saw. Libby doesn't have to defend herself to you, all right? We're not accusing her. Just leave her alone, please. I can, I can still feel it's it. It's okay. I can it's feel all right. It's touch. I am, I'm right here. Everything's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Everything's going to be okay, all right? This is more like it. See, I never thought you'd just loosen up and... Jamal! Oh, th there you are. Dude, I I'm so sorry, no, no, man. No, 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 no. Wait, what's the problem? It's Karen. It's Karen and that freaking Lancelot. He's got her. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? What do you mean? He just took her and ran off? for something what? I don't, I don't know, all right? I, I, I tried to follow them, but then it's like he just vanished. He, he was gone. Jamal, dude. What am I gonna do here? That freak's got her, and I'm afraid he's gonna hurt her. I hoped I'd see you again. Thank you. You saved me from that mugger in the park. Do you remember me? Are you sure? Are you sure you and the baby are okay? Because I could take you to the hospital. It wouldn't be a no, problem, no, okay? No, 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 sweetie. We... Uh, I am okay. I feel really safe now that you're here. But we, we you know what, safe. Allison? Hey, you know what? Let's get out of here. There's really nothing else we can do. All right? Thanks. Both of you. For taking care of my wife. I just want to go home with my husband. Now you understand, don't I, you? I think she understands. Okay? Now... Are you okay to walk to the car? Come on. Come on, just, just lean on me, okay? Did you see the... Did you see the way that he treated me? It's like we were total strangers. Actually, it was more like he was sending you a message that he's out of your life. And the sooner you believe that, the better off you're gonna be, Allison. It's still so hard, though, watching him look at her the way he used to look at me. It's like my, it's like my life is flashing before my eyes, but someone else is living it. You, you can't torture yourself like that. I just kept hoping that somehow we would find our way back to each other, but I know now that I've lost him for good. Okay, so you're saying this dude just came and grabbed Karen and just ran off? Yeah. This creep had, had his paws all over her, and then he just disappeared with Karen. Well, come on, was she in trouble or something? She was just standing there. No, 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 no something, no, something no. screwy, because that's not Lancelot's usual M.O. Yeah, no. well, that's not Karen's usual M.O. either. What are you talking about? I don't know, man. She, she keeps talking about him like they got some special bond together or something. Wait, th that's really interesting. Wait. 
Well, just calm down, okay? Just, just, just... Okay, so then maybe Karen has some type of connection with Lancelot. Maybe she knows You know what? Him. Shut that off. Ricky, look, Lancelot saved Karen from a mugger in the park, okay? She, she said that this this guy, this this thing, whatever the hell he is, he, he stopped that night. Like, like he wanted to say something to her. Like he'd been following her. What? Maybe. Maybe he's taken her away because he's fallen in love with her. Maybe that's why... Stop! You, you know what? You, you're just getting off on this because you want some kind of sleazy story. Well, this is Karen we're talking about. My girl. And some creep has her God knows where. Now, are you going to help me find her or what? Just... Come on. Come on. Let's do it. All right? Come on. I know I should run. Uh, I should be scared to death, but... I don't know who you are or where I am, but somehow I feel safe. I want to see your face. Usually you help people and then vanish into the night. No one gets close to you. So why did you bring me here with you? Nothing. Man, there's no trace. It's like they're really vanished. No, look, this guy, he broadcasts his every move. They're not gonna just disappear, okay? We're gonna find her. Yeah, and All when right? we do find her, I want the exclusive interview, okay? Marissa, no. What? Well, you you, you want to interview her? How about we find her first, huh? Well, yes, of course. I mean, that is the most important thing, but when I find her, stop, I'm just... Stop talking about your stupid interview already. Better yet. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? No, Why don't you I'm calm just, down? Just stop. I'm just stop, okay? saying is that because Lancelot has this thing with Karen, maybe that she... Will you know what, Jamal? If you don't get her out of here right now, I'm going to take her... Listen, listen, Ricky, listen, listen, Ricky, listen, okay? She may be the only person who's gotten a peek beneath the shroud. Beneath the shroud. Why couldn't you just have taken you? Just, just calm down, Ricky, because we know that Lancelot does not hurt women. And, and because of this connection that they possibly have, hurting Karen is like the last thing he would do. Right. What are you talking about? You don't know what this guy could do. He's crazy. He's not a hero. He's not a man. You know what? I'm going to go find her, okay? I'm going to go find her. Karen! You know my name? You know, you've, you've done the most amazing things. You fight the good fight when everybody else has given up. You have the courage to stand up for those that need you. I've never known anyone like you. And yet I feel like... I feel like I've known you forever. That's Ricky. Uh, he must be looking for me. Uh, uh, he must be... I've had it. Well, I've um, heard that before. I know you have. I know, but this time I really mean it. Did you see all that? I mean, was that just me, or... Did you see the way that he looked at me? He looked at me like he didn't even know me. Like I was a complete stranger. That man once had so much love for me that it totally took my breath away, and now there's nothing. Gallison, I think the guy's a complete jerk. I'm sorry. I'm not doing this anymore. Doing what? I said that I wouldn't unload on you, and I meant it. Hey. I promise Hey. You. Don't, all right? Unload everything. Complain all you want to. Take it out on me. Give me your best shot. Okay. No. You know what? Our lives are both in the same situation. Why don't you go first? We both have a lot to complain about. Okay. Well, there's our non-existent love lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the people that we thought loved us ended up with each other. 
Oh, there's Livy's talent. Pulling the wool over everyone's eyes. And if our lives couldn't get any worse. We have to worry about now. The Avatar and him putting roots down here in Port Charles. So we might not only run into Rafe, but we might run into the Avatar at parties too. Oh, I'm sorry. We haven't even been invited to any parties lately. <laughs> That's my bad. I know you'd think an ex jailbird and ex vampire would be on everybody's party list. I just don't even. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how our lives can get any better right now. Well, they don't, not in this town. You know, Lucy is always talking about taking new directions. Maybe we should do that. She's always talking about signs coming from the universe and everything. And right now, I would just absolutely love it if one would come straight down from the sky and hit me right in the head. Maybe a neon one. That'd be great. That's mine. Jack Ramsey. You're... <laughs> you're kidding. Oh, okay, okay, great. Oh my god. What is. Who was that? <laughs> that was the universe. Oh! I think our luck might have changed. Good! No, really. I'm sorry, who was that? The magazine just called. Magazine? What magazine? Well, let's just say we got the gig. What? Wait, <laughs> we? What are you talking about? You no, know, the pictures I took of you. What? You remember? The, the pictures I. For the portfolio. Allison, they didn't just like the pictures, they liked the girl in them. They want you to be my model. Me? <laughs> uh, no. No. I, Jack, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a model. I don't even know what I'm uh, doing. Did, I just sat I, there. Can I tell you that it shoots in Bermuda? Bermuda? Bermuda. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm your girl. It's me. I really need it. I'm, it's me. <laughs> so what do you say we leave all this doom and gloom and go have some fun in the sun? Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I really want it. Hey, you know what? You should really eat something. I mean, I'm, I'm not much of a cook, but I, I could probably handle some soup or something like that. You know? Thank you, sweetie, but I'm not. I'm not really very hungry. I, are you sure? Can, can I get you anything at all? No, just, just you. Thank you for taking such good care of me. I always will. Like, I know that you were really frightened tonight when you realized the Avatar was after me, and I'm really, really sorry I put you through that. You know what, actually, things have been a lot clearer for me these days. Really? Yeah. I mean, when we found each other again, and, and I had lost my memory, you, you told me that the past didn't really matter. The only thing that mattered is the present and the future. Yeah, I, I was just worried that you would... No, 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 no. See, you don't have to explain, because I'm really starting to feel like you were right. I mean, lately it's just, I know who I am and what I need to do. I, I need to drive the Avatar out of town for, for, for my family, because this... This little guy means the world to me. <laughs> or little girl. I think I'm really ready to put the past behind me. And anything and anyone that goes with that. Wow, everyone. You are my future, Libby. You are. I know that now. I'm sure what just happened. I I'm really sorry. I... I think that we were just really excited about the job. Right. That's all. Right, right. Um, and I just <laughs> kind of... Yeah, I got a little carried, carried away. away. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so, uh... Anything to get your mind off of? Rafe, that's not because of Rafe. I think that we were just talking about getting a sign from the universe, and we got it. So what do you think the universe was trying to tell us? That this is a brand new chance for both of us. Well, I know I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. 
that's probably the universe again. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Mary. No, I can't pick up an extra shift this week because... No, I'm, I'm just going out of town. Okay, great, thanks. That was Mary. She wanted me to pick up an extra shift at the recovery room, but I told her that I couldn't because I was going to go off to be this big, fat supermodel, and my best friend, Jack Ramsey, was about to take pictures of me in Bermuda. We're going to Bermuda. This is going to be so fun. We're going to Bermuda. Karen! It's just my friend, Ricky. Don't worry. I, I won't let him find you. Stay. I don't want anything to happen to you. I, I, sh I should go. So what do we do now, huh? We call the cops or what? Just to solve, keep looking. Wait, 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 wait. Look. Look. Karen. Oh God, Karen. Karen, are you okay? Yeah. What yeah. did that bastard nothing, do to you, Karen? Nothing, nothing. He was protecting me. D did you get a look at his face? Do you know who he is? I uh, know. I'm sorry. He was wearing a suit. Wait, wait, wait. The whole time you didn't try to get it off? Well, did you talk to him? What did he hey, hey, sound hey, like? Could what you just of... back off, Karen? Please. Well, what... Glad you're not hurt, okay? Okay. Yeah. Me too, but I was just wondering, you know, like, oh. did, what would his Now, Mercy, come on, come on, you gotta go, come on. I don't suppose he mentioned that he liked later. the name Thanks. that I gave him. Karen, come here, come here, come here. Let me look at you. I'm sorry you were worried. You know what? If that creep ever lays a hand on you again, hey, hey, I'm gonna he, kill him. He didn't him. hurt me. He didn't hurt me. He couldn't. What do you mean, he couldn't? It, it, it's just not him. Are you defending this psycho? It just happened so fast, Ricky. I, I just got this feeling that he was protective, kind. I'd still like to drop kick his butt out of town. Maybe he's hiding somewhere no, around no, here. Ricky, Maybe we can Ricky, find please, him. Please forget, it, okay? Please, please, just, uh, just take me home, please. Okay. <laughs> or little girl, remember our our very special. Excuse child. me, excuse me, you're interrupting. I'm having a conversation down there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I I am sorry, Daddy. Carry on, will you, please? Go. Go. Jira, it's it's me, your your daddy, <laughs> talking to you. And I just thought maybe we should have this conversation and get to know each other a little better since we're going to be spending so much time together. You know, and you'll you'll know me because I'll be the big guy who's teaching you how to ride a bike and and putting you up on my shoulders for walks through the park just to make you feel ten feet tall. You'll know me. Brave. I don't think I can love you any more than than I do right now. You know, when I thought the avatar hurt this baby, it, it was like when you fell down the stairs in the hospital. You know, and it keeps hitting me again and again that this is a, a real child <laughs> our child our baby growing inside of you and it, it, it's part of me and, and that that changes everything i know i'd do anything i would i'd risk my life to keep this baby safe and 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 you are going to be a wonderful father but look no more no more talking about battling avatars or or, or anything no 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 i like that please. the thing is when we got married I promise you that I would I would take care of you forever, and, and maybe I didn't really mean those words as much as I should have then, because I was so confused. But not anymore. I'm not confused anymore. I I, I know that we are going to have a very happy life living, <laughs> and that Avatar is not going to come anywhere near you or hurt you, and there is just no way it's going to get to our baby. Oh, 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Torn. Port Charles. What are you doing here? Well, in light of your theatrics with Lancelot, I've been asked to give you a psychiatric evaluation. I, I told Rafe that he's an angel. Well, why didn't you want to tell me that Allison is the one going to Bermuda with you? Keep up with all your favorite soaps. Log on to SoapNet.com to chat with the stars, check out our message boards, and to find your SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.